Hello. It is unbelievably hot here in the UK at the moment, so I thought I would take this opportunity to record making a cyanotype on ceramic and using the sunshine because we have a lot of sunshine today. The ceramic tiles that I've done in the past, I had created more in winter time in a very cold studio uh, with a small overhead sodium lamp. So the exposure times were about 45 minutes and realistically, I think it's just a little bit too long. And the reason I think this is because one of the hardest things about creating cyanotype on ceramic is the fact that you can't wash away excess cyanotype solution very easily. But I think I might have cracked a couple of simple ways of reducing that time right down so that washing your tile isn't as arduous as it has been in the past. If washing the tile is a quicker process, then that effervescing phase that happens when you sit your tile in the bath has a much less amount of time to to do it basically so the most recent tiles that i've done i have actually washed them only for about five to ten minutes top end and mainly i was just checking and letting it dry a little bit in between. And how I was drying it was, I was drying it upside down so that the image is facing a piece of a kitchen roll and the top part was facing the sun. Any cyanotype that was to leak would leach upwards. Um, and any cyanotype solution that was to leach downwards would obviously be collected by the kitchen roll. Now, it needs doing it like a few times, but still, I think doing it this new way in the hot sun as well. So the hot sun's important because that helps you to reduce your exposure time and it'll help you dry it. Gosh, my brain. Anywho, so... I did a wee test run yesterday. I still have my uh, cyanotype and gelatin solution in the fridge that I made last week. It's a little bit hot to apply gelatin solution to glass during the day here. And that's just because it's so humid. And really, if you want it to set, it needs to be a little bit cooler. And you might not have enough room in the fridge to put a load of quite delicate glass tiles. So I'm gonna wait until night time. Here are the two cyanotype test tiles that I did yesterday. Um, this one has been finished and has had a thin layer of varnish applied. This one hasn't and it's continuing to do weird stuff but I thought I would leave one without any varnish. So if at some point I manage to get to a kiln, I can low fire the one without the varnish and hopefully this should still turn a beautiful orange color. This purple is like a humidity burn. That seems to have happened overnight. The back of the tiles, like I say, the cyanotype has leached this in this direction. So it hasn't affected the image on the front too much but this is unfixed and if I don't manage to get access to a kiln to fire it and turn it orange then it'll be interesting for you guys to see the difference between a varnished piece and an unvarnished piece and what's going to happen to them both. For this you're going to need uh, blank tiles. I've got some more. I'll have to go and get them. You're going to need um, 
a sponge. This one needs cleaning. You're going to need a sponge for application. Again, this one's going to need cleaning too. And you're going to need a piece of glass to flatten down your image. And you're going to need some sun, which is gone behind a cloud at the moment, but I'm sure that's going to be fine. Okay. Okay, so I've come to the kitchen laboratory to quickly prepare a cyanotype ceramic tile for you. I have some acetate negatives here from a studio shoot that I did for Sunderland Museum and Wind Gardens a couple of years ago now, celebrating Art Deco Glass by Joblings in Sunderland. So I thought that was a really good idea to quickly show you how to do a cyanotype tile with a little bit of heritage. Okay, so piece of glass you're gonna need, your negatives, and here I have a box of uh, tiles, uh, that was from a stock stockist in Bath. So I'm not going to go too wild and I'm not going to do too many of them because I want to give each one my full attention. Uh, these are the tiles. I think these are porcelain tiles actually because the grain is really, really beautiful. There's no label on my box so I'm really, really sorry. I'm not sure. However, it's got a beautiful fine grain and if you're doing a photograph, really, that's exactly what you want so i'm going to get a couple of these out i'm going to try not to manhandle them too much because even though i'm clean i'm also a human and humans make grease so you don't really want to get everything really greasy so i'm going to leave it at just the two these these tiles are really really old now but obviously it doesn't make any difference it's not going to go off you need your cyanotype solutions and these are ones that I mixed up not that long ago and then later on you're going to need a yacht varnish and that's just a wood yarn varnish but you want something that's going to dry clear and um, that's fairly inexpensive uh, you're going to need a receptacle to put your cyanotype solutions in you're going to need a sponge brush because I love sponge brushes but I've just cleaned it so I'm just going to squeeze all of the water out. So you've got a receptacle, sponge brush for applying cyanotype and a sponge for washing down and getting all that dust off and just giving a little bit of a damp layer. So cold water and step back so you can see me a bit. So the surface is a little bit damp. I'm just gonna do the same again. First one will take away Sorry, first one will take away the dust on the top and the second one I'll just give you that like smoothed out surface. Okay, so I'm fairly happy with that and I'm like now, now finally I'm ready to go. Cyanotype solution. You can see I'm not going over the top. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is covered with a very thin amount. Or well, you might be able to see that anyway. It dries really, really quickly. And that's, that's, um, that's it, she's prepared. So I'm going to pop the rest of this in a cupboard. Uh, 
Um, and I'm going to take my glass. That's what we got. I'm going to put this outside in the sun. It's really hot out there. So what I've done is the first wash in cold water. I've then um, put the pictures side of the tile face down on kitchen roll. I've dried off the excess from the top and then left this face in the sun. Hopefully the heat from the sun will dry out the tile quite quickly. And then to stop this purple um, haze dominating everything, um, after two or three cold washes and dries, I will add a very, very thin layer of varnish.